I'm visiting Pelican Point Power Station here in Adelaide today, which is owned by Angie in Australia. This power station is amazing. It's one of Australia's most advanced, efficient and environmentally friendly power stations. I'm going to be speaking with Debassis Baxi, who is Engie's South Australian Asset Manager. Hi Debassis. Hi David. The gas turbine power technology that we use at Pelican Point Power Station is exactly similar to the technology that we use in the gas engines of an aircraft. What is Pelican Point's role in providing electricity for the national electricity market and for South Australia? Pelican Point Power Station, it provides 479 megawatts of capacity to the national electricity grid on South Australian node. It also has got the capability to really keep the grid stable in a connected grid where you have got renewables as well as different other operators generating. So for example, if one of the generators just fall off from the line, it has got the capability to quickly supplement that gap from Pelican Point Power Station. How does this power station differ from a conventional coal-fired power station? Pelican Point Power Station is a combined cycle gas turbine power station, and it has got two distinct differences from a conventional gas-fired or coal-fired power station. It is more efficient, and the reason for Pelican Point being more efficient is because the waste heat which comes out from the gas turbines is again recovered in our uh, steam generators to produce steam, which again drives another generator, which is the steam turbine generator, and produces more megawatts. So, for the same amount of uh, gas that's burned in a conventional power station, we produce more megawatts. It all sounds very complicated. What does it take to actually fire up a power station like this, Tabasis? It sounds complex, but we have got the state-of-art technology to really combine the two technologies per se the gas turbine and the steam turbine to guide through the process. It takes around a couple of hours to start up uh, the full station from no load and it also has got different stages uh, and processes to be followed when the power station is started up. The power is available uh, at the end of two hours, that's the full uh, capability, but we start up with uh, small uh, levels of generation as we start up the first gas turbine. And going up through the steam turbine, we have to produce steam to the right quality. Once that is achieved, then we produce the full capacity from the right. station. Tabasis Baxi, thank you so much for your time today. Fascinating topic and uh, really appreciate it. Mm -hmm.